Hey guys, Christopher Marlowe here. The uh, MPL, MPL RS5K manager is very good, but we can't do some things with that. And one thing that I was asked about was 808 glides, portamento slide 808 things. I didn't actually know the answer. Um, well, I, I do. On Windows, there's a free plugin called uh, Grace you can use. There's maybe some others, but I want to know on Mac and Windows, hopefully. So. I went around trying to figure out with this here, and fortunately, there is a way of doing it. And it's actually built right into the functionality here of this sampler, which is the free TX16WX sampler. It does have a paid version, but I'm just using the free version, and it's great. So, this is the sound that I was I was looking for, and I got it. I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, it's, just, it's the, your standard 808 slide. It's very common in pop music today and hip-hop and stuff. But, yeah, so trap music. So we've got, uh, yeah, just a sample that we're looping and, gl and sliding with a, in a portamento sort of style. So what we'll do is just start from the beginning. We'll reset this to factory default. This will be the window you see, essentially. You might see this as well, but you can just close this file browser with the little um, minus button. So... Uh, first, we want to get our tuned 808 sample. Uh, I'm using this one because I already know this is a G sample, or it's tuned to G. So to drop it in, I like to open the regions window because this is a nice sort of handy visual way of dragging and dropping samples to any particular key you want. You can drag these out with the side handles anywhere on the keyboard, like this. and now if we try to play it, it's just the same uh, same sound over and over again. So to transpose this by semitunes, we'll give it a root note. I'm just going to do G2, because I already know it's G. And I'm working around this, this region here. Now we've got, as if by magic, a bunch of uh, properly tuned to wait notes. So now it sounds like this. So not quite there. First thing let's do is let's make a loop or make this into an endlessly looping thing. So let's go to the waves tab. I'll get rid of the grid here because we don't need that this little uh, grid button. And I'm going to uh, right click here on the wave and go to loop, new loop. And then I'm just gonna do this to get it out of the way. Right click on the loop, assign loop. That'll help make it work when we, and then I'm also gonna go here, uh, uh, loop playback. So that just, those two things just make the loop actually um, work on the, the sound. So we can we can move this by just grabbing the end handles like this, and then slide it around. And I'm gonna wanna bring it way up to the beginning here. And for this technique, I'm gonna zoom in uh, with the minus and plus things down here, and just move the uh, scroll bar. The important thing is that we get the, uh, the zero crossing points. And luckily, we can do that with this functionality that's built right in, these start arrows here, and the end arrows. And so just by clicking on any one of these arrows, the start here, we can just shuffle with, or um, what is it, just go between each successive zero crossing. It's, it's, it's fantastic. So, all right, let's say that one, and then do the same thing with the end. And we want to have an even number. I've been finding that two, si or, you know, I guess this would be one cycle, wouldn't it? Because it's like an up and a down. So, I've, I've been liking the sound of this. And so it should, if we go back to the regions, we can audition this. Magic. <laughs> Got endlessly looping notes, so now if we play it. And of course, if you've done this before, you know that you have to have an even number, or you have to have it um, ending and starting on uh, the same, like, or at the same point, kind of in the waveform so that it like kind of is going up 
in and up here. Because if you have um going like, oops, going like, uh, well, that, I guess, but also like this, it doesn't sound right. You'll get sort of a uh, sort of a buzzy behavior. Um, and of course, if you don't, if you don't have it on the, the zero crossing at all, you'll have the horrible clicking behavior. So <laughs> that's why the zero crossings are important and having an even number of them. It's so like two, four, six, eight. Wonderful. Now it doesn't sound quite right though, because it's, it's sort of overlapping the ends of the notes on each other because, uh, I should note, I've actually done that purposefully in here because we've got a little bit of overlap here and here and here and here so all we have to do is make it into a legato sort of um, playing style so what i do is i go to groups and i'll just exit these out here the group thing normal mode i think what used in previous versions of this you would have a normal mode and like a fixed mode but i don't see the fixed mode now so just I guess just we'll just keep it at normal because that's that it works like that. Under poly, however, double click and I go with legato. I think you can do mono as well, but legato seems appropriate because that's what we're doing. Um, we're doing like kind of a legato thing with the, with the sliding. All right, so that's that pretty much. And so now we're much closer because we've got that sort of um, one note at a time. The only difference is we want a bit of a sliding behavior. So if we go to the sounds tab, we have this AEG, I believe that stands for amplitude envelope generator. And just, uh, this is defaults to held, held notes. I wasn't able to get it to behave differently by, by toggling all uh, going between those. But if we just bring the glide up, it's maybe there, I don't know. You can notice sort of hear a little bit of a kind of a glide or kind of a a, a slide situation. All right, and then if we want to make it a little bit more uh, fading out at the end, we can turn the release up a little bit. Not sure if that'll. Uh, it's got a little, weird little artifact, but. And I'm still not sure how to how to uh, actually eliminate that little artifact. It's a little better now. <laughs> but, uh, I gotta look into that. But essentially, we've got we've got what we want. So we can also turn the attack up a little bit if it's if it's too clicky at the beginning. Anyway, I, yeah, I I gotta look into that. I don't know what PW stands for, but. It sounds like it's sort of being downsampled at the end, but I I don't know. It's odd. Anyway, that is the bulk of it, though. So, yeah, I hope that there may be some of you out there who are interested in, for example, a Mac-compatible uh, way of doing this for free in Reaper, and that is one of them. So... Uh, Mac Reaper King. So yeah, anyway, you have been listening to Christopher Marlowe. Anyway, I it is February 16th, 2020, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.